TJ and I decided to finish the night with a really nice dare. Now, right now we're a little bit west of the Tokyo train station and we found this place. There was kind of a hole in the wall for very little advertising, but I think what it is is an okonomiyaki restaurant. Okonomiyaki is like a Japanese pancake where they take a batter, but then they mix a bunch of stuff in it. So if we look at the menu here, you'll see all kinds of stuff. The first page, oops, shows. Not only do they do okonomiyaki, but they have these grills here on the table and they can cook all kinds of stuff. It's super cool. The main thing with okonomiyaki though is the filling, right? So you have your pancake and then you can put in pork, squid, beef, kimchi, all kinds of stuff. They have a whole menu of things you can put in there. But then they also do yakisoba, betayaki, yaki udon, negiyaki, soba. Basically mixes of all the same things with either a batter and noodle. Super cool, but this is actually my first time eating at one of these restaurants. I've ordered okonomiyaki from restaurants before, but never seen it cooked right in front of me. So I don't know if we're gonna cook it on this grill or if they're gonna do it on the one back there, but the grill right in front of us is hot. So I'm pretty sure we're gonna do it here. Now they give us these little things. And I think these are the devices that you use to cook and to scrape your pancake with. Also to scrape it onto your plate. So this is gonna be a cool experience. TJ and I got the drinks that we've been drinking the whole time we've been here in Japan. And TJ's drink of choice is a lemon sour. And my drink of choice is just a typical draft beer. Sometimes it's the Foro, sometimes it's Asahi. But right now, I don't know what I'm drinking right now, but it's beer and I'm at it. We didn't know if we were supposed to eat it right away, but we asked. The grill is just to keep things warm, and you can just kind of pick off of it and eat when you're ready. So I'm gonna grab a piece with my right hand, which is not my dominant chopstick hand. I think I should cut it into more than just two pieces, right? Do it. Into more than two pieces? Do it. Wow, cuts really easily. Dude, this looks so good. Wow. So I can see the pork, I can see uh, the kimchi. So good. Very hot though. I'm gonna take my time with this one. I'm gonna be honest, I've had one and a half beer so far and I am like winding down for the day. I'll just put it like that. TJ over here, is, he has a little bit more space in his stomach than I do and he's ordering food. Check this out. We've got some enoki mushrooms wrapped in bacon. I love enoki. I love pork. Which side do I eat first? I can't eat this whole thing. It's in your hottest bat.
right, so this next one is a kimchi squid. The spiciness of the kimchi goes with the squid so well. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. All right. So, so we've been eating very well this whole time we've been in Japan, probably every day having some kind of amazing, amazing food. But I'm going to go ahead and say that like today, that was the best like dining experience we've had. Well, I mean, not only just that, but just today in general, I feel like we've had like top-notch food oh, the yeah. entire day. The, the, yeah, the Wagyu. We haven't had a single thing that was just like subpar. It's just been like amazing nonstop all day. We were talking about hitting the bars, but we're both pretty tired, even though we got up late and it's still really early. I think we've just been traveling super hard. So we're going to end it here. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Click the like button if you enjoyed the video. Click subscribe if you want to see more of my stuff. Follow me at whereisbrad underscore, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. <laughs>